what you've seen from from Blake Mazza being able to carry up the perfect streak through uh, through through nine games now, and fifteen to fifteen. And yeah, yeah, I think he's done a good job in the offseason developing, like we talked about. I think you and I talked about that early on. I, I just think his work ethic has paid dividends for him, and and he's got a he's got a good demeanor to him in terms of just one kick at a time, and that's really what he's he's been able to approach it that way, and it's been successful. Is it kind of like a no hitter, or a perfect game with the pitcher, where you don't want to talk to him about being perfect, or did? Do you think he's conscious of that or thinking about it at all? Or? We're just so focused on day to day what we do. You know, it's not really. I know he is or whatever because I've heard. You know, you just obviously he's done a great job. But all you do is focus on what can we get better at, where does he need to improve, and he's done that. And I think that's why he's been able to be successful. Has his range also improved quite a bit from, from last year? You know that you can send him out for a fifty yard as opposed to last year. You're maybe a little more. A little more hesitant to come in the weather and other conditions and whatnot. Yeah, he's getting better pop on the ball, better lift on the ball, so it makes you a lot more comfortable with that. And then field goal block, is that, is that something you guys have, have been working on lately? And did, did you kind of see something like that coming eventually to be able to get in front of two of those? Well, uh, you know, we work on it every single day. I mean, it's not something we just started working on. We, we take uh, field goal block. We, there's a period of pre-practice where we work it every single day since fall camp. So, uh, no, it's something we take serious and we drill. But but uh, that's one of those plays, and it's an effort play. And those guys did a great job with their pad level and effort. And, and the one kick was pretty low trajectory, too, which helped. But, uh, no, that's an effort play, and I'm, I'm proud of those guys for what they've done. Coach, Will, Willie Taylor got his first sack last week. Has the, the lack of – you know, sack sack total, or for at least sacks for for Taylor, been disappointing, or has that kind of been something where he's getting there, he's just not quite getting the the numbers on the on the stat line. Yeah, I think stats sometimes can lie. You know, you flip on the tape, the one RJ got against Oregon. Um, you know, Willie actually countered, and the and the guy flushed, and RJ came from the backside and made that sack. And he's been, uh, you know, he hits the kid against what New Mexico State, right? Ball pops up. It would have been a sack fumble, but we pick it. You know, because it goes far enough for cross line scrimmage. So, you know, we sit there in stats and say there's no sacks, but the fact of the matter is he's been getting there. And, and obviously, production, you always want more, right? And we're always pushing him for more, and he wants more, but he's done a nice job of continuing to develop. Yeah. What's the most important thing the coaching staff can do when, when, when a team's struggling like this one five? What, what, what are you guys really doing as a staff right now? The, 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 this week, the, the next three weeks, to, to make sure you guys get the most out of the, of the, the last fourth of the season now? Yeah, just be consistent in your approach. If you want your players to be consistent, you better be consistent. And I think we've uh, tried to do that to the best of our ability. And, and they're doing a good job this week so far of, of practicing that way and accepting that, you know, that coaching, I think. Have you guys been able to identify any more leadership on the defensive side of the ball as far as players stepping up and, and holding other guys accountable or maybe maybe being more vocal in meeting rooms or whatnot? Yeah, I think guys are coming on in some regard. You know, it just we have to make sure, again, it's the same work, consistency. It's got to be every single day, and it can't just be when you feel like it. And same with us as coaches. You know, it's always got to be that way. So uh, I think I think we're moving in the right direction for sure. Stanford obviously presents kind of a different challenge with with use of tight ends. You guys don't have a lot of that here, but but do, 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 do you think the scouts have, have given you guys a, a pretty good look at what you're going to see Saturday? Yeah, it's always hard to, to to get a look at something that your offense doesn't do, if that makes sense. But I think those guys have done a good job of, of preparing us, um, and uh, our kids have done a nice job as well. And, it's, and they just got to understand it's going to be a physical game. But you know, Stanford Stanford's interesting to me because. Uh, they have the ability now. I mean, they play 11 personnel and different things and throw it around. You know, last year they threw the ball quite a bit against us too. So um, it will be physical, I'm sure, but uh, we still got to be able to prepare to, to cover and do those different things in the pass rush. Do you get a sense of if, if they want to throw the ball more, run the ball more this, this, this year? I know last year they, they kind of strayed from, from being ground and bound for the ball more. Do you, do you get a sense of what this team wants to do based on its strengths? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, percentages are percentages, but it, that'll be something that'll be determined as we get in the game. You know, I think they'll probably come in and try to run the ball, but uh, we've got to do a great job of, of preparing for both. And so ultimately sometimes that all those things go out the window once you get into the game and, and you've got to kind of adjust on the run. So. That's good. Thank you.